Typography is the art and technique of arranging and designing type. In the following exercise, the type tool, blending options, and layer masks are used to create a monogram with winding characters. To create a monogram, let's first create a new document. Go to the File menu and select New. We'll be using the same preset 5 inches by 5 inches from the previous modules. After you've selected that, go ahead and click on the OK button. If the Type tool isn't already selected, go to the Tools panel and then select the Type tool. In the Options bar, click on the Font Family drop-down arrow and select Vivaldi. Next, click on the Font Size drop-down arrow to resize the font size to 200 points. But because the highest point size is 72, we're going to type it in instead. Next, let's change the text color by clicking on the text color swatch. Select your desired text color. Then when finished, click on the OK button. Click once on the canvas and type the letter J. Go back to the Tools panel and select the Move tool. Then move the letter J downward. Let's reselect the Type tool. Then click on the canvas to type our second letter T. Using the Move tool, Drag the letter T over the letter J. Reselect the Type tool, then select the letter T. Click on the foreground color to change the letter of the T to something different from the letter J. When finished, click on the OK button. Click anywhere on the canvas to unhighlight the letter T. Go to the Layers panel, then while holding down the Control key, click on Layer J. Go to the Tools panel to select the Move tool, then center the two letters on the canvas. Next, select the T layer. Then click on the Add a Layer Style icon located on the bottom of the Layers panel. Select Stroke. In the Layer Style dialog box, change the size of your stroke to 5 pixels. Click on the Color Swatch. Then change the stroke color to something that's different from either of the letters. When finished, click on the OK button. Click on the OK button again to return to the canvas. We're going to add the same layer style to layer J. But instead of redoing every step, we're just going to copy the layer style from layer T to layer J. To do so, click on the Layer menu, scroll down to Layer Style, then select Copy Layer Style. Select Layer J, then go back to the Layer menu, scroll down to Layer Style, and this time click on Paste Layer Style. In the next step, we want to make a selection of the letter J. To do that, hold down the Control key and click on the J Layer thumbnail. We also want the stroke to be included in the selection. So go to the Select menu, scroll down to Modify, and select Expand. Because the size of our stroke is 5 pixels, we're going to expand our selection by 5 pixels. When finished, click on the OK button. Back in the Layers panel, click on Layer T. Then on Layer T, 
add a layer mask by clicking on the add layer mask icon located on the bottom of the layers panel. Select the brush tool. Then set your foreground color to black and your background color to white. Let's increase our brush size by clicking on the right bracket key. Then click on the brush drop down arrow so that we can change the hardness. If your hardness is already set to 100%, then leave it alone. But if it isn't, drag the hardness slider all the way to the right. Then back on the canvas, paint over the areas where the T will appear in front of the J. If you're noticing that the area that you're painting over is not disappearing, then make sure that on the T layer that the layer mask is selected and then try again. Again, make sure that the T layer mask is selected, then go to the image menu, scroll down to adjustments, and select invert. In the next step, hold down the control key and click on the J layer so that both T and the J layer are selected. Then go to the layer menu, Scroll down to Layer Style, then select Clear Layer Style.